And as I say that, I probably will, because, you know, who's going to stop me? I'm going to keep buying stuff. Hello, everybody. Drew here, tip of the mint flips, where every 100 subscribers, there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you're subscribed so you have a chance to win. And we are up to uh, 25 subscribers to go till the next giveaway. And also, I noticed the other day that over half the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you do want a chance to win and you want to speed up the process to getting to the next drawing, make sure you're subscribed. Today, 15 orders going out for about $300. So pretty good weekend sales. I've had better, but $300, nothing to shake a stick at, as my dad would say. Old timey sayings are so weird. Uh, first thing going out, Miracle Made 5 ply on B2. B2 sold the bigger one last week, and now the small one, Miraplex. Miracle Made. After that, got a uh, lady said, hey, if I buy more than one thing, can you, you know, da 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 da, give me a discount? And I said, sure, no problem. But she had zero feedback and she just wasn't grasping what I was explaining to her, how that's going to work. I said, I, I can't just tell you how much you're going to pay. You still have to buy both items. I can't just throw an extra item into a box. That's not how that works. Because then I would be on the hook, not saying you would do that, but if you decided to scam me, eBay would have no idea I sent you a thing. It was a lot of messaging, but I could tell they just didn't know what how to do it. They wanted to make the sale and buy the thing. They just were confused on the process, but I we got it figured out eventually. And she bought, first up, set of four False Graph White Sierra on C4. C4, and that is the 9-inch ones. So, that has to be these here. Set of four. One, two, three, four of them. Right there. And I paid a quarter a piece for those. The only reason I know that is because I got them from the Goodwill, my local Goodwill. And in the Goodwill, the only thing good about my goodwill is glasses you know not ones that they can tell are worth money plates silverware all of it it's all 25 cents they put it on a shelf it's 25 cents so it's basically the only thing left at the goodwill where i can make a, a good profit because of the cost of 25 cents but that 14 dollars plus shipping and then on b4 she got four faults graph same pattern that's a stupid place to put that. One, two, three, four. All right, Drew, don't drop these and break something. Okay, right there. Four of the large dinner plates. And I think I will be able to fit all of these into a, well, hopefully, let's find out. Uh, 13 by 13 by 9, uh, number 7 priority. And it does look like it. That's probably enough room for me to pad it sufficiently to survive a trip. But I don't know. The 9 inches might not fit. So that might have to go FedEx. Who knows? But $30 plus shipping for that. So $44 total plus shipping. And that's what she kept getting confused on. She's like, if I buy both sets, will you take $40? And I said, that's more than I'll take. And then we decided on $44. But I was like, you still have to buy both items. It was, luckily for her, it was not a busy day. I think it was Sunday. I was watching football anyways. So... I had time to walk a customer through their purchase. Next up, I just listed these. I was surprised at how much they were worth. I just picked them up because there was a lot of them, and I got them for, I don't know, pennies each. And I figured, worst case scenario, I would lot them up, but I didn't have to. In B2B, new oval eight-finger, it's like a... I don't know, an arthritis brace or something. I I wasn't really sure because at first I thought it was a splint. And now I have to double check because I have multiple sizes and I didn't check which size. Size 13. I thought it was a like a, for broken fingers, like a splint, but I think it's a support for arthritis or something of that nature. 10. There we go. Two size 10s. Of course, it was the last two I grabbed. Why wouldn't it be? All right, and it's these things right here. 
very weird finger splint support type thing. Not really sure. But I paid, like I said, pennies um, and free shipping on that. So for the two of those, $18.78. And that's actually going international. So they probably paid 15 bucks in shipping to get those. I have no idea. They paid me nothing in shipping. But $18.78 for two of those, that's great. Next up, this, this will be something I buy if they're available a lot of this year. Um, Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar right here because I had to go pick up more from storage. And I did increase the price by a dollar um, and sold that one for $41.99. And then I again increased it by a dollar, which I will continue to do until I run out at this point. After that, on B1 Vintage Littenware, let me double check the size before I mess up. 1.5 quart. That is, well, I guess I'll have to, oh yeah, 1.5 quart right there. And I just mentioned these a uh, couple videos ago, maybe even last video, that I didn't know these were a thing, but they have a, a high track record of selling. It almost looks like something they use in cafeteria setting, um, like uh, maybe medical, maybe uh, jail setting, some, something along those lines. It seems to be what that type looks like. Fifteen nineteen plus shipping for that one. I did take an offer. And then next up, glad to see one of these go. This has got to be an offer or on sale. B3 Vintage Revereware 7-inch. B3 Revereware 7-inch, which it appears like I have two on this shelf. That is dumb of me. So now I have to get both and compare them and see which one it actually is. Okay, which was easy because this one is from Rome, New York, and the other one was from Illinois. So, put this one back. Try not to make that mistake again. Which I guess it wasn't that difficult to figure out, but I'd rather not have to do stuff like that. All right, I don't need to rearrange that right now. Next up in A2A is the last of the Aero Pilates parts. I think I'm almost 100% positive, but I'm rarely 100% positive on anything. And it is this little knob right here and that $15 free shipping. So Pilates stuff, another thing that I will be very much on the lookout for. Chess pieces, can't find any. Pilates stuff, never see them. But if I do, I will be buying them. Littenware, never see it. But now if I do, I won't even question it. And then after that, Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar right there. And like I said, I raised it up a buck. So that one went $42.99 plus shipping. And then after that, this wasn't worth the trouble at all. A1 Vintage Matchbox Hot Wheels lot. I bought it. Oh, oh I said A1, didn't I? Didn't I? Did I? Now I gotta double check A1. I don't think that's right. I think it's on B1. I think this is it right here. Yep, little trailer. Um, what happened is I got it because some of them looked like they might have some more value, but as I was breaking it down, none of them really jumped off the page. So I figured, hey, let's run an auction. And I had to restart that auction 20 times. It just... I don't know, maybe, I really don't know. I don't know why no one at any point bid on it. It just, it was really, it was odd, but also I won't do that again. I'll pick out ones that I think will sell if they will sell and the rest I'll just, you know, give to the boy or donate or whatever. Um, but that actually went international. So they paid, it sold for one cent. So one cent plus shipping um, going international, so they probably paid 20 bucks in shipping plus one penny. So, whatever, somebody's getting a gift for, you know, my trouble. All right, so I was packing stuff up, and this was crazy enough. I had to turn the camera back on, but it was the, since I already got it in a box. Oh, here we go. The, the Matchbox cars, the lot that went for one penny. 
And I said, well, they paid some shipping, but it's international, so they probably paid, you know, whatever that difference is to eBay. And it came out a first class, class package, so it cost me $527. They paid $825 to me. So I still... It's going to cover not even the cost of goods, I'll, but it'll be closer to breaking even. That's not the point of the camera being on. They paid a total value, make sure I don't get any other information in here, of $53.65, which means they paid 40 something dollars to eBay for international shipping, which just further lends to the fact that I don't know how this thing never got bid on for months on end, except for the one time somebody tried to scam me. They bid a penny, picked local pickup and said, oh, just don't mail it, just give me feedback. I wasn't going to do that. That's a different story. It was worth money because somebody was willing to pay for the total order $54, $53.65, and I couldn't get a single U.S. bidder to bid one penny and pay the shipping. So I guess I was right, just I didn't have the right market. I don't know. Very weird. They, I guess, had value to them, but just not U.S. value. I have no idea, but I figured I'd share that part. And then after that, on B5, the Goon Zombie Priest, B5. Now these, a friend of mine reached out to me and he said, hey, I got a couple things, you interested in buying them? So of course I looked up the price and I said, for sure. And, and he said, hey, how about, I don't know, I think he said a couple bucks a piece. Whatever he wanted, I ended up paying him more because they were worth too much for what he was asking. And it was still a great deal. So, uh, let's see, Zombie Priest, $64.99 plus shipping. And that is with, there's some damage here. The label's basically peeled off. The box it is yellowed. But when I was looking at all the comps, most of them had this yellowing, which is just a sign of very cheap plastic. That does happen to a lot of action figure casings, um, especially not your mass produced, your more uh, niche ones, because they're going through smaller companies and trying to cut corners sometimes to, you know, make some profits. $64.99 plus shipping. Then after that, Warcraft 2, right here expansion set it's got the front uh insert is missing um so not complete 7.99 free shipping and then i shouldn't have put the basket away but plain wooden chess piece a to a i don't know why i grabbed the basket could have just grabbed the bag but there we go for a white pawn i got 8.99 free shipping so like I said, chess pieces. I have been looking for them. I am shocked that it's not a thing I just come across all the time. So maybe that's why they're selling so good. Maybe it's not something people come up with often. I don't know. $8.99 free shipping for that one. And then here was another lotted up uh, combo deal. Not worth the trouble. I will not be listing most Cornflower Blue things anymore. It was a good seller. The market has just been flooded. That's that's all there is to it. Uh, first off, on B2, uh, one quart cornflower blue. I think it's this one here. I'm almost positive, but not 100%. Also, there was a chip in the lid, so mine was priced a little lower. Um, let me double check while I'm here. But, yes, one quart. That's the one. And then going also in that order is uh on a2 cornflower blue a2 cornflower blue it's one of these i have multiples of them um it's like a little frying pan seven inch frying pan uh what is that it's p83b those used to sell regularly with the lids i was getting 12 bucks each and now for both of these uh ten dollars plus shipping so not really worth the hassle and then it's this is how it works you'll have something one will sell you'll be sitting on them forever one will sell and then immediately a second one will sell it's the ebay algorithm it's not just coincidence it's because traffic went to that 
the algorithm pushes that listing up further, more traffic goes to it. It's not by accident. That's why it happens. So on C4, false graph, white Sierra, C4, oh, C4. That means it is the nine inch ones right here. And of course, there goes my alarm again. Perfect timing. It's not perfect timing, it's the worst. And I got $12.99 plus shipping for those ones. And that's all the sales. Uh, this is actually quite a bit of effort for packing just cause you know, lots of, lots of wrapping, lots of wrapping, lots of wrapping, lots of wrapping here just to protect the casing. You know, you're, you're, this stuff is, is easy cause it, you can't break it. Um, these are very easy, but this will actually be very time consuming. And this, this right here, if I can actually film what I'm talking about, uh, will be very time consuming and it will be the least money on the table. So not super excited about that, but it is what it is. Couple things, the stereo units that I thought were uh, super expensive, they are middle expensive. So this one, the Pioneer, test it out, works great. The little knobby's missing here, but not, not as expensive as I thought. So this, this is about a 70 to 100 hour unit and there's a lot of them. That's, that's the problem. This, this specific one, there were, I think, 30 plus listings available. So that doesn't make for good sales. And then the receiver part of it, this one, I think this was a 150 plus. I can't remember exactly, but it appears to work. I have to do a little more testing because you want to make sure all the knobs are working and that all of it's clean. and it doesn't make a lot of crackles and all that kind of stuff. And then also I ran into an issue with these um, I luckily went to list this donkey first, cute little light up donkey there. Um, and when I pulled it out to clean it off, the light and cord were not in it. So I'm assuming they're in one of the other boxes. So now I have to get them all here, take them all out, make sure all the cords are with the right stuff. Cause if you're packing it up for your own home, yeah, just throw all the cords in one box. You know, you don't have to really bother about it. They're all going to come back out. Other thing I've been working on today is I got a bunch of head covers. Uh, that's a Ping Rhapsody right there. Got a few of them listed, but the one thing I wanted to point out is, first off, head covers in general, you're gonna get about 20 bucks free shipping. But if you know absolutely nothing about golf, golf gear, golf clubs, look out for Scotty Cameron. Okay, Scotty Cameron right here, the putters, specifically the putter, well, I mean, Scotty Cameron's are putters, but they do not have to be in good condition, the putter. I sold one for like 230 last year, and it was all dinged up, it had rust on it, because they refurbish them and then sell them for more money. So, Scotty Cameron, any condition putter, because they are a putter. If you don't know anything about golf, that's the only thing you need to know. But they make head covers for, I think they make them yearly, special events, all that kind of stuff. This one specifically is the 2020 version. And this is a $50, $40, somewhere in that range, free shipping cover. So Scotty Cameron, great, great golf club to look out for covers. Anything Scotty Cameron is, if you don't know anything about golf, Put that in your memory, Scotty Cameron. And then I got the last, uh, I did that Raggedy Ann, got that listed, and the Tupper Toys thing. So I went and got a couple more from the big toy and kid activity lot, vintage stuff. And one of them is this wood burning kit, which appears to be intact except for the paint. But what are you going to do with that anyways? I don't think you could, You I don't know if you could sell, can you sell wood burning kits in like a regular Walmart now? This seems like one of those toys that they would no longer be a toy and you have to go to your local Home Depot to get. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But then also in that, not worth as much as I thought it was going to be, but still okay money. This Graduate 5000 typewriter, very cool looking. The market, you can see that's got plastic buttons. The market for a typewriter is not a child and this is a child's toy so you could see why this wouldn't really have a great resale value um not not a lot of kids this age typing it out on the old typewriter for fun so <laughs> i don't know maybe i should have just passed on that one 
I still haven't, I got to double check. But this one is the find of the whole lot. This is by far, I think, going to be the best money. And in my opinion, in my opinion matters to me, it is by far the coolest. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playhouse Pizza pizza parlor type thing. It's basically a, a play tent. It's got no bottom and it's got a frame and you put it, it's vinyl. Um, but here's the original sales receipt on it, which I was talking with my girlfriend. I think this is a layaway sticker is what this is, which then we had a good laugh about layaway because that's not a thing anymore. I don't think but our local Kmart used to do layaway. I think that was at a JCPenney. JCPenney used to do layaway. But if you don't know, layaway is when you'd go to a store and they would lay something away in the back and you would just come make payments on it. It was just a payment program, but it never leaves the store until it's paid off. So they have zero risk. If you don't pay it off, they got your money and the thing. If you do pay it off, they have the money and they have the, the thing until you pay for it. So very low risk system. So I don't know why anybody would stop it, but I don't think anywhere does layaway. Kmart doesn't exist. So of course they don't. JCPenney, I don't think they exist anymore. Mm, maybe they do, but I doubt they still do it. Walmart should. It makes sense because they, like I said, they, they hold the good until it's paid for. So there's very low risk. I don't know. Just thought that was funny, but that I think 75 bucks, but maybe a little higher. It'll depend on how good it cleans up and if it's all there, of course. But I think it, when I looked up, it was like 75 bucks. But that, I think, is going to be the high end of all the stuff I bought. And looking back, as far as the pricing's gone and everything, I should have been just more selective. I shouldn't have bought whatever it was, 25 or so things. I should have bought the three that were really worth money and left the rest. But it was beginning of the summer. I didn't have stock at that point because I had been, I just stopped going to Goodwill. It was just not worth my time anymore. And, you know, I was kind of desperate for stuff. I'll never do that again. And as I say that, I probably will because, you know, who's going to stop me? I'm going to keep buying stuff. And then last thing, the tip of the day. Today's tip of the day is something I did yesterday. I should probably should have done it months ago. I went through, and for me, it was specifically my retail arbitrage stuff, because th it's things that I have multiple quantity of. I went through and I double checked all the pricing against what current prices are, and I had to reduce every single item. So that was uh, these action figures here. Um, it was also these Hot Wheels these leapfrogs. There was one more thing I can't think of right this sec if it doesn't really matter, but I had to reduce the price on all of them. And because it was multiple quantity, what ended up happening is it reduced my overall store value by like $225, $250. So a significant drop, but it was something that needed to be done. They weren't going to sell. The prices on the current market were significantly lower. So I definitely needed to do that. So just a, a reminder to every once in a while, go through your own inventory and see if something seems weird. See if something has never sold, if you have multiples. See if just benchmark it against the current market. Because something like this, I could possibly hold out till all the others are gone and then sell mine. But I, they just, I think they still make them. I just got them because they were on sale. There was like a closeout or a mismark or something like that. So it's not like that's a collectible. That's that's a reproduced, mass, mass produced item that they make more of when they run out. So I had to go through and readjust all those. So just a reminder to check your inventory. You might have something mismarked. There might be a reason something's not selling, not just because people aren't buying it. But that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.